All right, so we have graphing linear equations. All right, this is similar to what we were doing last week. It's actually a lot easier. Let's start off with one of the easiest ones. So number four, our slope is gonna be two over five. So this is going to be my rise over run. And if the rise is a positive number, it goes up. The run is always going to go to the right. It's always gonna be positive. So we don't have to worry about the run always goes to the right. Now my starting point, my y-intercept, in this case, since I have a minus four, it's negative four. So the first thing we need to do is find our y-intercept. So my negative four on my y-line, here's the y, I'm gonna go four units down, so zero, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna put a dot. Now from this point, I need to count two units going up and five units to the right. So the way it works, everyone put your point or your pencil here, so that's zero. I'm gonna go two up, one, two, and then five to the right. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this is my next point. And I'm gonna follow the same pattern. So I'm gonna say zero, and then up two, one, two, and I'm gonna say zero, five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. All right. <clears throat> now we can also go backwards we don't we have to go reverse so I can go down and then to the left so starting from here or look watch just if I start here in the middle I go down two and to the left five four five we're there so down two so zero one two and then zero one two three four five there's my dot zero one two zero one two three four five we're right at the edge Right. Now, equations, we don't have to worry about shading. All right? These are just equal signs. When we have equal signs, these are the easiest ones. Just connect the dots. Let's get a straight edge or something. Use my ID. And there you go. Now, the back is inequalities. All right, we're probably not going to get to that. Actually, um, I'll make another video for inequalities. But right now, we're just doing equations. All right, we'll keep it simple. And uh, let's uh, set up number two. So on number two, we have x. Now remember, there's supposed to be a one in the front. I'm missing a one there. So my slope is one. Now the problem is we want it to be a fraction because of rise over run. So I'm gonna put it divided by one. Anytime we have a whole number, put a one under it, and now we have a fraction. So I'm gonna rise, positive is one, and then always to the right. It's always gonna follow that's original pattern. And then my B, where do I start? I start, this is a plus six, so I'm gonna start at positive six. So this is always your first point. So from the center, this is your Y. Go up six, so that's five, so six is right here. And then we're gonna go up one to the right one and put a new dot, so zero. So up one, boom, just a little box. Follow the pattern, up one to the right one, up one to the right one, up one to the right one. Now let's do the reverse pattern. The reverse pattern is down and to the left, so down one to the left, down one to the left. So see how many you can do? All right, the more, the better. And you should start seeing your pattern. And I know these lines kind of got messed up. It should look like a line, all right? Sorry, the lines didn't print out correctly. And there you go, we have it, that's it. So we're gonna go ahead and put this. And um, let's talk about some of the ones. So again, look at this one. A lot of people are like, Mr. S, what's going on here? Put a one right here. And there's nothing, all right, for the B. When there's no B, the default, we're gonna put plus zero, kind of like that. I'm just, so y'all can see, all right? So my slope, again, this is a one over one because we have an X. Now the zero, B equals zero. We're gonna start right in the middle and follow the same pattern. All right, let's see here. So now we have a negative four for slope. M equals, just put a negative four, and remember, we want a fraction, so just put a positive one under it. You always just put a one under it. Negative means that this goes down, and we're gonna go one to the right. So that's my pattern. Now, again, we're missing something. What's my default when we're missing? The default is eight plus zero. So my B equals zero. Again, I'm starting in the middle and then just follow your patterns. Down, 
to the right, down to the right, down to the right. This one is going to be up one, over one, up one, over one. All right. Go ahead and do the same thing here. Put a one under that number. Be careful. This is a minus two. Let's see if y'all can catch that trick right there. Be careful with the minus two. Now this one, this is a fraction, but there's an X. Well, what we do, remember, we put a one right there. So really, this is just a one half and the X can go on the side. So my slope equals one half. The X just kind of chills. So that's one over two. And the B in this case, if that's a plus one, that's positive one for my starting point. So on the Y, you're gonna start on the one. Uh, go ahead and finish that up. When you're done, turn it in.